G'day, I'm Kanga Cans for Ozzo Board. Learning to sup has been a great experience for our family. Getting us all out in the harbour at Dana Point has been a great family outing. I class myself as a sup beginner and this is what I learnt. Ozzo Board has amazing equipment for learning to SUP and no matter what your size we have a board for you. The Ozzo Board range has two pure SUP boards, 9 foot 6 by 34 inches and 32 inches wide and the crossover range has four boards, 906, 806, 706 and 606. Our SUP 34 is for bigger people like myself at 240 pounds. Malachi paddles the 906 crossover, Ethan the 806 crossover and Alyssa even rides her 806 in the surf. We have an adjustable paddle that works well on flat water or in the surf and if you take your boards into the waves you'll want a leash and if your kids are under 13 they'll need a life jacket for safety. It's much easier to try SUP paddling in flat water. So pick a harbour or lake but before you hit the water you need to practice balance on the board. Ozzo board SUPs have a carry handle on the balance point of the board and this gives you a handy indicator of where the center of balance of the board will be in the water. You need to position your weight near this point for end-to-end -end balance. Side-to-side -side balance is achieved by standing in a parallel stance with one foot near each of the side rails of the board. I stand in a surf stance because of 45 years on a surfboard but it's still more parallel than when I'm surfing. Probably the first thing you should try in the water is a few minutes of knee paddling to get a sense of the board, paddle and balance. You'll like the soft feel of the Ozzo board deck. Now we'll look at paddle handling. Becoming a master of the paddle will give you confidence in the water. Most paddle blades are canted at an angle to the handle and you put the open side of the angle to the rear for paddling. To paddle on the left side of the board, put your right hand on the handle on top of the paddle and your left hand about two feet down the handle. With both arms straight, reach forward and bury the blade in the water next to your board and drag it back to just past your body. Lift the paddle out of the water and reach forward again. To keep the board straight, you'll need to paddle on the other side of the board. So drop your right hand off the handle to your left hand, slide your left hand up the handle as you swing the paddle to the right side of the board, reach forward and paddle. Now that you're paddling comfortably across the harbour, you'll soon realise that you want to turn. And there are three ways to do that. One, paddling on just one side but keeping your paddle wider out when up near the nose of the board will paddle you in a big circle. Two, you can dig the paddle into the water behind you and back paddle into a narrower circle. Or three, you can step back raising the nose of the board while making quick choppy strokes near the nose of the board and then pivot the board quickly. You need to learn all three methods if you plan to hit the surf but they're easy to master in the flat water of a harbour. By now you'll have learned that balance is a key attribute of SUP paddling and that boat wake, strong wind, chop on the water are all your enemy. A key element of balance is to keep your knees slightly bent and be prepared to use them as shock absorbers to soak up bumps in the water. If you want to head out on bumpy days, whether in the ocean or in a lake, you'll need to learn this skill. Another important element of balance is the paddle and you can learn to use it as a third leg and often can push off your paddle in the water to regain balance. By now, you're paddling around comfortably and enjoying the view from the water and you'll see someone blow past you on a big fast board and you'll notice that they're putting way more effort into their paddling stroke. This is where knees bent and leaning forward really come into play as these are two key attributes to fast paddling. With your knees bent, bend your upper body even further forward to get greater forward reach with the paddle Dig much deeper and drive the paddle down the rail of the board with all of your force while pushing back with the leg on the paddle side. Your offside leg will also need to apply force to counterbalance this paddle stroke. Whip the paddle out of the water and reach forward for another deep stroke. Quickly change hands for more deep strokes on the other side of the board to keep it straight. Now you can feel how much faster the board goes and how much energy you can exert if you power paddle like this. Unless you're planning to be a race paddler, you're probably thinking about taking the Ozzo board out for a few waves. 
Every one of the lessons you've just learned are all about skills for handling rough water. Next up, your first lesson in the waves. Until then, I'm Kanga Cans for Board.